So this is the Massey Ferguson 135 that I use for small jobs. It's 1972, I think. I was bought off a dealer probably about six years ago. Hours are a bit uncertain, but it, uh, it runs well, a little bit of smoke, um, no sign of any problem with the engine, gearbox, everything seems to work okay. Um, I think brakes are probably ready for being adjusted. Front loader, doesn't get used a great deal, it has a fox uh, with it. And they've got the rotator on the back, which is really useful. Uh, you can see there I've got uh, a pallet on the uh, on the back. That's what I use for just shifting bales. Just load load the bales straight on there because you can drop it right down on the ground, and so you're not lifting up like it would do uh, onto a trailer. It's good. It's got the the frame. Um, not had to do much maintenance work. Oil change. Uh, transmission oil, which if anybody's trying to do the transmission oil on a, a Massey 135 you probably understand why I sigh a little bit. I might do a separate video on that because I think any learning that can be shared is uh, is good. Uh, the only paint work I've done is on the on the wheels. I did change the tyres but um, I did uh, repaint the wheels. I think, I think with these tractors like this if you're going to repaint, you need to do a really, really good job, get everything perfect, not, not do a bodge job. And um, given that the paintwork isn't, isn't all that bad, it just isn't worth touching any of the, the red at all. But the, the wheels were looking pretty tired, and it's surprising how much better you can make them look just by, uh, by painting the wheels. Um, I don't think there's much really to talk about on it. It, um, it's had one minor breakdown, well it could have been a terminal breakdown, in that the one of the wiring looms uh, caught fire one day and uh, I think smoke was coming up from underneath the steering wheel. So I went running for a fire extinguisher, it was quite a trek. By the time I got halfway back I was about, uh, oh, I say tired, I thought oh, it's just gonna have to burn, but um, it put itself out. I think one of the things about a tractor like this is that there's no, there's very little which is combustible on it. Yeah, you know, there's not a lot of um, soundproof or anything like that. So I, the the wires, the wires caught fire, and then they just, well, I think they just got fed up. They just ran out of steam. There was, it just put itself out. Um, at the time, I was too busy. I had to get somebody in from the uh, Massey dealership to uh, to rewire it. So he did enough to be able to get it started, put a new starter and a few um, one or two new dials on. Uh, what I haven't done is the the lights, so the lights don't work at the moment. But it, uh, it doesn't go out on the road and doesn't get used in the dark anyway. I have got a new steering wheel to put on because you might be able to see that that is a pretty worn steering wheel, which probably gives you an idea about how much work it's actually done in the past. But trying to get those wheels off, steering wheels off, is, uh, is a job and a half. So given that that'll probably go wrong first time I try it, um, I mean one of those sort of bearing pullers just doesn't touch it, it's just well and truly on. And um, so I need to set aside quite a bit of time to be able to try and get that off, knowing that I might have to cut the whole thing off. Um, but by and large, I mean, it's just it's so economical. I love the fact it's so simple. Anything that goes wrong within reason, you should be able to fix yourself. And maintenance is easy. Everything that you want to buy on it is, is relatively cheap. I love it. And uh, I just kind of like the old school approach to sort of working with it. It pulls a roller, pulls harrows, as I say, it moves logs, moves hay bales. Yeah, it, it does. It does quite a bit of work. Nothing that overloads it, um, but it does take you back. And um, what would it be? Sort of 40 years ago since we were first driving a, a Massey 135, and um, it does bring it back a bit. So I think that's the highlights of that. Um, I'm just going to have a run round and pick up the uh, bales from the, the second cut, and uh, and then that'll be it.